Well, well, well. This took long enough, didn't it? Trial of Allegiance came out over a month ago, and I'm only now getting to one of the countries. It's time for us to play Argentina and do the Reconquista. Well, that didn't take long. Augusto is out and Roberto is in. Let's hire ourselves a silent workhorse and work with the nationalists. You know, at one point when I read this guy's trait, I thought he was a radical antidepressant. And since we have 1.5 critical power coming in a day, we may as well hire ourselves the f demagogue. I know that's not what he's called, but that's basically what this guy does. Okay. Sorry, Stanley. It has to be done. We're going to cut ties with Britain. Snip, snip, and gone. The ties have been cut, and now we are going to support radical nationalism. And while we're in the neighbourhood, let's go after Paraguay. I know the mid-max thing would be to take them as late as possible so they can get extra factories and stuff, but I don't care. <laughs> like, they're there, let's take them now, I think it'll be fine. Great, now we're going to quickly run down to the extra research slot, starting off with corporatism. Sorry Paraguay. Just a quick naval invasion to take ya. I should have encircled it, but I forgot. Excuse me? Hmm... Do you think they'll actually use it? The sensible thing would be to do the white piece now that I've annexed Uruguay. But I can't help myself. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hmm. I don't see any sign of Brazil doing anything. Oh, took you long enough. Hmm. Right, let's get on that front line. Quickly. Brazil has no more than 13 divisions, so this should actually be interesting. No, I almost thought I accidentally turned Brazil's divisions off. Nah, 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 nah. Time for a quick little encirclement, I think. That's the way we're gonna beat them. And thank you, that is already... two divisions. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some more, so... Max priority, if you please. Brazil enters state of emergency. I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah, could have just done nothing, Vargas. Oh, that division wasn't actually in circle, my mistake. But those two are now. And I'll go for that one as well. And thanks to that focus, we get five motorized. Can I get a naval invasion? Yes, I probably can. So, uh, let's use them to naval invade Sao Paulo or something. These divisions are rubbish, but hey, Brazil's distracted. I think we got a chance. And I present to the court another encirclement for their pleasure. On Joinville. Can we take Rio? Yes. Sao Paulo? Yes. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not doing a focus. Uh, uh, there we go. Minor mistake, but oh well, I can live with that. Uh, let's just use these trucks to go and take these VPs. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. Brazil still has a little bit to go, but they only have one division. That's their last division. Well done, Vargas. Well done. I don't know what you're smiling for. You completely messed up. Anyway. We can now finally do Italio-Argentine Diplomacy. Which is still ironic, because we're still embargoing them. Where do we need to go now? Campo Grande. <laughs> the last time I saw that city was in Civilization V. And it's funny, actually. Because I believe I found the home of Who Asked. 
Thank you. And we're done. I really should reiterate, this wasn't part of the plan at all. This hasn't happened in any of my practice games doing this. Uh, so, what should I do with Brazil? Yeah, I think it's just Puppet, Reps, Rights, Navy, I think. Can't complain. Again, why are you so happy? Hmm. We don't have enough support to do the focus, so... Quickly, let's ban communism. And there we go. We can finally do the fascist union. And with it, we get the spirit of the conquistadors. Justify war goal time, division attack. Hey, it's a nice national spirit. And as it turns out, I didn't have to ban democratic parties. Nice. I've been doing that through most of my practice games. But no. Hell, I didn't actually have to ban communism. I could have waited a few extra days, but... I'm lazy. I wanted to get this out of the way quickly. And once more, we have a new leader. The antidepressant is gone, and the nationalist is here. Hmm. Anyway, let's continue the nationalism with Argentine nationalism. I love that I'm the one who's raised world tension the most, even though it was Brazil who declared on me first. War division, war division, war division. Why not? Extra manpower. I just like the idea of having this. Just gives us <laughs> manpower out of thin air. Argentina first? Sure. Okay, an offensive has just been done into Madrid, so finally I think it's time for a justification on Nationalist Spain. Galicia, please. And sure, may as well grab our own path. It's there, extra recruitable propaganda. Fuck, wrong one. Actually, damn it, I should have hired you sooner. Okay, the Spanish Civil War has just ended. How long? 70 days, so... And there we go. Time to plan the great and glorious naval invasion. We should probably go for the closest port to us, which is Cadiz. So, four there and three on each side. The Nationalists have just lost most of their divisions, the CW is over. So, should be okay. The main problem, actually, is the volunteers they're going to get from Germany and Italy. But if I can make landfall and should be able to push them, I think we should be okay. Famous last words, I know. I guess now I should start working on the army. First up, this little focus, and then we'll expand the army academy. Extra org. Anyway, I've changed our template to this. Not great, not terrible. The main thing I'm really going for is numbers. Honestly, I fully expected Nationalist Spain to get guaranteed. But they didn't. Let's go. And with that, I destroyed the League of Nations. Woo. No surprise, though. Got naval supremacy immediately. Our navy plus Brazil's is clearly enough. But still, though, this naval invasion is going to take a little while. I'm fully expecting Cadiz to be defended, but it wasn't. You don't argue with results, kids. You don't. Right, let's get to work. Aggressive. No exercise. Go, go, go. Gotta seize those ports and stuff. But remember as well, Nasher Spain doesn't actually have cores on most of Spain at this point. The things we need to take are things like Cordoba and Galicia not Valencia. And I was right, there's the German volunteers. No surprise on that one. It is what it is inevitable, but similar thing, just in circle. Yeah, I'm kind of spreading myself thin considering my units aren't actually here yet. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My first units have actually made it now, but oh dear. Can we push? Probably not, but I will do what I can. 
But we clearly need to open up a bit more of a front, so another naval invasion. Go for Galicia. We're just pressed down very hard, but if we can expand the front again, that might be enough. Right, our Colonia luckily was not defended, because <laughs> why would it? But that's good, that's good. I can now spread that front line out a little bit. I'm going to assign half of this army here, and then they will push. Go. Really should have actually assigned some of the motorised here, shouldn't I? But oh well, too late now. And that is going to be three divisions in circle, thank you very much. I don't know why you're supporting us, you traitorous bastard, but thank you. Whew, managed to relieve that, that's been going for ages. Well, that took a lot of manpower, but we actually have broken out now. And if you want to say I could do better, you're right, I probably could. But here's the thing, this is completely improvised. This is not the plan I originally thought I was going to be doing today. But thank you very much. Madrid is ours. Well, what do you know, the naval invasions actually sort of worked. It did help break the front. And yeah, this down here in Cordoba is still going, but I think we'll be able to capitulate them without it. Like, Vigo is worth free as well. Pampelona and Wesker. Should do it. Yep. If somehow you're still following this, you probably won't have gotten the achievement at this point. Because it requires you to take all of Spain. So, we're just going to annex them. Including the fleet. Done. There we go. Argentina has... Conquered Spain, and gotten the achievements. Yeah, okay, let's release Nationalist Spain as a puppet. I don't fancy paying for the garrisons. There we go. Look who's back in town. But hey, at least you have all of your cores, which means we could use all of your manpower instead of ours. But yeah, at this point, the achievement is gotten, so I guess I can wrap it up. I think I should say what my actual plan for this achievement was, because it's actually kind of fun. I was looking forward to telling you about it, but Brazil had other plans. The plan was to invade Portugal and then push on nationalist Spain. I was going to do this by naval invading Portimao directly. Now some of you might be thinking, Bubbles, there's no way you are going to get naval range for that. And that's true, I wouldn't have, but that's where Nationalist Spain comes in. Because it's fairly easy to get docking rights from Nationalist Spain and get the range you need. Simple as, invade Portugal and then push from Portugal into Spain. GG. But, uh, sometimes Hoi4 decides... Nah. <laughs> but oh well, I can't complain, this is probably much more entertaining, isn't it? But hey, if you want to do my original plan, go ahead. If you want to follow this, also go ahead, be my guest. Just, um, for the invasion of Spain, just do better than what I did. Maybe add artillery to your divisions, maybe invade La Coruña, Bilbao. You can improve on this so much more. This is why I do practice games, you know? so I don't have to improvise during them. But again, whatever, can't complain, I actually had a good time. And so, until next time everybody, I thank you for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed it, and until we meet again, from me, Bubbles Zest. Goodbye.